I would like to share an experience where my grand uncle passed away in a hospital. It all happened in 2006, 2007. I've got cerebral palsy and a bad heart. When my husband went into hospital, he was very ill. Is with my mum. She spent about a year in and out of hospital. I've been interested in gardening since I was oh, about six or seven years of age. A couple of years back, I fell through a greenhouse. I was actually going on the roof to put uh, roofing felt on and I had a piece of glass stuck into my arm. I arrived at the hospital and went into A&E and had to wait a considerable time, or in my opinion it was a considerable time at the moment when you're waiting and I didn't have a book to read uh, so it was a bit boring. The impact of a staff which is a hospital which is understaffed is your waiting times. I mean, when a person is waiting and they've been injured, that is traumatic in its own effect. It all happened in 2006, 2007. It started just like something very small and all of a sudden, my life was on the pipeline. I was in the hospital for about three and a half months. I thought I was gonna be dead. I never knew I was going to get out of the hospital alive. I didn't have anybody in Liverpool then, no family, no friends, nobody. But the most interesting part of it was the medical team. I think I was just blessed with that medical team. I forgot my birthday to tell you the severity of it. And they brought a birthday cake into my room and I was like, who is that for? I said, it's your birthday today. And I started crying that I can't you know, even remember my own birthday. They gave me courage. They showed me care. They showed me love. He passed away in a hospital discharge ward due to urinary tract infection when he's, he was initially admitted due to heart conditions. So as you can see, it's a two very different cost of illness. We were really unhappy about how the hospital deal with his death. They didn't actually give us a very clear explanation of what actually happened. And then that's it. We feel really shocked and bad about the entire experience. I have, to have cerebral palsy and a heart condition, and I have to have um, blood taken every so often to make sure my tablets are working. I think doctors should get to know people with learning disabilities because then they, they, they like them more likely to trust them. My husband had Parkinson's disease and he developed some things to do with the Parkinson's. They took me into hospital the last thing one night and they wanted to take some bloods. Inserted a cannula but he bled. Now the senior member of staff in that ward sat and held his arm upright for three hours. Now to me that's above and beyond the call of duty. The most recent for me uh, is with my mum who has heart failure. The problem she had last year is she was treated for Parkinson's even though she doesn't have Parkinson's so she reacted to the Parkinson's medication. Then they said she had dementia which wasn't, it was a reaction to the Parkinson's medication and at that time it was fairly stressful because mum was really poorly. I think as a relative of like losing someone at a hospital, what healthcare professional can do to make us feel better is giving us a really honest and prompt explanation of what happened. The staff were great, the nurses were great, the young doctor was great. I didn't see any uh, form I can feel to express the way I felt. If you have like a caseworker, then they can tell you that and that would have that would have saved a lot of money. This bloody liaison just to go around and if they've got a person with a learning disability on that board, then the learning disability nurse can go around and check on that person. I think it's extremely important that people give either compliments or complaints because how else are we to learn other than by people's experience? It's not what you do but the way you do it and it's not what you say but the way you say it. I am more than a patient, I am. I'm a law student. I'm a grandmother, soon to be a great grandmother. I'm a singer, songwriter, saxophonist. I am a human being. A person has human traits, failures 
and feelings. <laughs> <laughs>